Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode here on the channel of the F1 2013 career mode. We are closing in towards the end of the season. Today we have the South Korea Grand Prix as Sebastian Vettel enters with a 10 point advantage over Lewis Hamilton. Myself and Alonso both have work to do today as we can't quite eclipse 190 points yet and of course uh, less than 23 races than what we see of course in real life uh, when it comes to Formula 1. You can see the end of the calendar from here. We got South Korea, Japan, uh, then we go, what, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's, that's all we got. So we got some work to do. We got to get ourselves in the title fight here today. Uh, let's dive into South Korea. All right, here we go for qualifying underway. I'm not the most confident when it comes to qualifying around here. This is only like the second time I've ever driven this circuit here. I'm going to put the brakes down to the rear immediately. We gave up so much time there in turn number one. Going to use a bunch of that curve deployment here. We have a long, long straightaway right here uh, as we're just going to follow Sebastian Vettel as we head towards the left side of the circuit to get ready for that very heavy braking zone here. Where do I brake? Thankfully, I'm far enough back to where I can kind of use the ghost uh, as my, of course, braking zone, you could call it. I'm going to use the rest of my current appointment right there and just hope that we can stay within striking distance. If we can come out of here, honestly, I'm going to say it. If we can come out of this qualifying lap with a top 15, I will be confident, honestly. Uh, so that's really kind of the goal right now is I'm going to lock up, though, on the entrance. Not good at all a track that I just struggle at so so much so far and I believe this is the last uh, time F1 went to South Korea if I'm not mistaken 2013 unfortunately I would love to have this circuit honestly back on the F1 calendar uh, but who knows when we can actually see that again through the left hand and then we dive into the braking zone here get down to first gear get on those curbs actually pretty happy with the last about 20 seconds or so of this lap now as we'll go through the long sweeping left hand to get down to third get on the curb not quick enough through there now through the right hander a really tricky and technical part of the lap of course now as you just continue to hammer that gas pedal and hope they can keep up a lot of just kind of forward leaning momentum through this lap down to first again and we close in on the final couple of corners you go through this left hander a quick sweeping right hander that shoots into a sharp not a sharp left but a quick little left right here that's the lap around south korea not a good one that's for sure but we did get the goal of a top 15 honestly p11 is better than i thought it was going to be hamilton alonzo vettel the three we need to be with are up there in the top three way ahead of the field we got some work to do but i'm confident we can be in the top five uh in just a couple of corners all right here we go ready to race in south korea now as it's going to be lights out we're underway for the korean grand prix now hulkenberg and button there just in front of us now as we're going to try to maybe go the long way around these guys into turn one. Oh, that's not good it's fine we don't get any penalty there but still not a good start. A little bit of contact right there. Uh, we'll settle now as we are going to put the brakes to the rear and then just try to hang on. Not the start I was looking for here, but what I'm going to do is dive it up the inside. Are they going to go four wide? If they're not, I certainly am. That's for sure. Here we go. Diving down into the braking zone. Three wide up the inside. Trying to avoid contact, of course, with Grosjean. And we will be successful in that. I'm going to use the rest of my current deployment only up to P8, though. Uh, in the first half of this lap. So not very good uh, as we head down towards the next corner. I'm going to launch one up the inside of Gutierrez. There we go. Thank you very much. That'll be P7. The guys we need to be with are right there in front of us. Is that Vettel who's gotten out in front, I wonder, uh, as it looks like? Yeah, I think so. So he's going to be out in front as we close in on the back of Jensen Button. I'm going to launch it up the inside here. we got to have that aggression at absolute peak levels on this opening lap. Up into fifth place. I said we were going to be, what, top five after a few corners. I was a little bit in inaccurate, but still, we're almost into the top five behind Mark Weber now. We're not going to waste any time. We are absolutely firing on all cylinders except for that corner. But Weber, a terrible corner. That allows me to do this. Catch him off guard up the inside, trying to give him the room that he, of course, is uh, entitled to. I don't think I ran him off there. That kind of looked like he did it to himself. I felt like I left him enough room. You guys be the judge in the comments down below on that one. Nonetheless, one lap down from 11th to 5th. Vettel is gone, already entering turn number one. And you can see Hamilton up there in front of us now as well. Not a great start for him, which is unfortunately for us. I mean, or fortunately for me, unfortunately for him. It's great for us because uh, we need those points. But we also need Vettel to have some issues and him being my rival uh, has not done us any favors. I didn't even mean to select him as a rival uh, last episode, but it unfortunately did happen. Here we go. Here we go. I'll lunge up the inside of Alonso. Didn't think I was going to have that opportunity. 
moved on. Fourth position, Hamilton, you are next. We've had some opportunities all throughout this season, you know, to win races. We've got two wins under our belts, but we've thrown away other ones. Could today be the day where we finally get back into the top step of the podium in South Korea? I would love to win the final uh, South Korean Grand Prix, of course, now uh, here for the foreseeable future in Formula One, Hamilton wide. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not good. Uh, not good at all. A lot of these AI are making some errors here. We move up into third place. Now we can set our sights on Felipe Massa having a, actually a, a fantastic day. So we're going to get a good opportunity to probably make a move on him at the end of the straightaway here. Here we go. Here we go to the left side. And we will complete the pass with the DRS. Gamsomnida. If you guys don't know what that is, that's thank you in Korean. I uh, actually learned Korean, which is exactly why I want to win this Grand Prix. Is That's like the only other language that outside of English right now, and obviously French is Canadian, that I have uh, put time into learning. I really, really like the way this car is driving right now. Uh, we are absolutely firing on all cylinders here. Now this corner is a corner that always throws me off, no matter how many times I go through there, but overall we're still making pretty good pace. Trying to run down Seb now, purple sector, what two that was. As you can see, 3.3 seconds, the gap between himself and I, really slow corner that time around, but still nonetheless, let's see if we can get it under 3.3 when we come to the line. And to the line, 3.3. Okay, so at least we didn't lose anything. Alonzo's moved into third. The gap to Vettel, 3.2 seconds. We're pitting this lap. This feels like a true just kind of 1v1 almost against Vettel. But then again, I say that Alonzo is closing the gap right now. So the two drivers that need to close the gap the most today are myself and Fernando. And it looks like we're doing exactly that. All right, we're coming into the pits at the end of this lap here. We are closing in on Vettel by literally a tenth or two a lap. I know the pit lane's a little bit weird here. We'll swing to the left hander. Actually cut the grass a little bit there, but the job's done. We get in without actual any issues here. So all of us are pitting as well. Vettel's in, myself's in, Alonso's in. The big three of this race all in. Hamilton struggling. Really interesting to see this thing play out. Vettel is out. We might have gained something right there on the back of Seb. I think Alonso looks like he's lost a little bit. We'll see, of course, how things shake out here once we uh, return to the track. We have definitely made some gains on Vettel there. That was a close call with Esteban Gutierrez now. He'll have some DRS on me. We'll use about half of our battery here. Actually, maybe he won't have the DRS, so we should be okay. Yes, we will. Look at how much the gap has been cut down. It was about three seconds when we entered the pits. It's now 1.3, and Seb has a little bit of traffic in front of him. Doesn't seem to be holding him up too much yet. I say that, and now we can start to see his name tag up here, so we're clearly making up ground. Alonso has Weber hot on his tail. He's trying to move his way forward and get past Gutierrez behind us as well. We are here. Hello, Seb. Things are about to get interesting in the South Korean Grand Prix. Now, Vettel, I'm hoping, is feeling the pressure, and I can find myself into the lead of this Grand Prix here momentarily. He gets through there so much better than I do. Look at how just on the edge Vettel is currently in this Red Bull here now as we close up right on the back of him. Here we go. This is going to be the opportunity right here. We should have DRS, but he will too, of course. But here we go. Is there no DRS on the front straightaway? Yes, there is. It's just late. Through to the lead in the South Korean Grand Prix. We go. We're going to go pretty deep there into turn one. However, going to go off track a little bit. Vettel right on the back of us here now as we head down the straightaway. He's going to have the DRS. I'm going to use about half my battery. I'm not too concerned about maintaining the lead because I think we've just got the advantage on Seb, who's really not putting that DRS to very much work. He's not following us in the slipstream. We will stay ahead into the braking zone. Thank you very much. We go a little bit deep again. Slide it around a little bit, but nonetheless, the lead is ours in South Korea. Alonzo chases off in the background. Our first official lap as the leader. The gap, 1.1 seconds. Alonzo, of course, got some work to do. 2.1 seconds back. Not too bad, though. He can definitely make that up. I think Alonzo honestly might have the fastest car here he's just not quite actually here with us let's see if we can get Vettel if both of us can come one two that will be huge for the championship fight with the four of us let's take a look at the gap 2.3 seconds to Vettel now and Alonso's only four tenths behind him so it's getting interesting Alonso putting on pressure to the back of Sebastian Vettel then it's mass is still in fourth Hamilton currently runs uh, in fifth place so Hamilton looking for the right opportunities but I think uh, Massa, or sorry, Alonso might have Vettel exactly where he wants him here. Maybe on this very lap, especially down this long DRS straightaway. We are just in total control 
of this Grand Prix here in South Korea. We, of course, got the two wins on the season. What was it? China and then Silverstone, right? Yeah, China and Silverstone, if I remember correctly. Oh, goodness. Uh, Silverstone, for sure. That was where Hamilton, of course, had the tire puncture when we were putting pressure on him. And then I'm pretty sure China was the other one. So... Here we are, looking for that third win of the season and of our uh, yearly F1 career, what we call it, with the uh, game by game. Alonso's lost some ground, actually, to Sebastian Vettel there, so Vettel's still two seconds behind me. Then he's got a whole second and a half now to Fernando, so Alonso struggling a little bit here as we wind down in these closing four laps of this Grand Prix. I think Vettel's starting to push a little bit here. He's now cut the gap down to 1.4 seconds. Alonso's closing in again on Seb. He's 1.3 seconds back from the Red Bull. So enough time still for things to really get interesting in these final three laps. We have, what, two extra laps to feel. So when we come back around, we're going to put the feel up to Rich here and get a little bit more pace out of this. 1.2 seconds now. Seb is closing. We open it up to 1.6 now, so that's what we like to see. Oh, bit of a moment there. Alonso one second behind Seb. So now we're starting to see Seb go backwards again. Alonso go forwards in these closing two laps that are about to get underway. We're going to put the field up to Rich right now and just send it for these final two. Put in some banger laps and run away with this Grand Prix victory in South Korea. We're coming to the final lap, and I don't know when the heck Seb got that close. Oh my goodness. I ran a pretty average lap right there. Only five tenths of a second off, and he's within eight tenths of a second to start the final lap. Oh no, have I thrown again in South Korea? I think I have. <laughs> we have overshot the first turn and given Vettel a potential runaway victory. Oh, oh my goodness. We have DRS. We gotta send it. We gotta send it. I can't believe I just did that. That is embarrassing. I am not losing this race in this fashion. We'll close up right to the back of Seb. A bit of a lockup. Oh, we gotta stay on him. We gotta put the pressure on the back of the Red Bull. I can't believe it. That's just been the story of my season. That is so embarrassing. Such a silly, silly mistake. We gotta go into focus mode right here. We're gonna get one good shot. That's it. It's gonna be one good, one good opportunity to get Seb, and it's gonna come probably in these next few corners here. Now, he is absolutely hauling the mail. I am chucking it down into the corner. Getting hard to the brakes, Seb! Seb's crashed, he's out! Vettel is out of the Grand Prix! Oh my goodness, he's still rolling, actually. Unbelievable scenes. I don't think I've ever gotten that loud playing an F1 game before. Unbelievable scenes in the final lap, and that's gonna put myself and Alonso top of the board. What has happened? I actually cannot believe what has just happened. I'm playing it so cautious right now. Oh, oh, hi, how you doing? We are not taking any risks. I'm just babying it through here, making sure I get to the end of this race now. Alonso's right there to the line. Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be us. We played it safe, but we did it. Wow. Oh my goodness. Vettel is still, I think, gonna be fourth. There's no way. I, what a finish here in South Korea, and sure enough, Vettel manages fourth. I can't believe that. What a result. We choked in the first turn on the final lap, threw it all away, and Vettel goes and does it. He says, hold on, let me one-up you, and trucks it into the barrier, and wow, this is tr completely changed. I'm at a loss for words. This has completely changed the championship fight. Myself and Alonso, we're right back into it. Let's take a look. Look at the stand. Oh, wow. Okay, we're still a ways back. Myself and Alonzo are tied. 29 back. A little bit further than I was hoping. But still, nonetheless, uh, most importantly, we made gains. Uh, Hamilton as well makes gains. Seven points behind Seb uh, going into the Japanese Grand Prix. And 70 points is the advantage we have over Red Bull there. So uh, Hamilton was able to make crucial gains, of course, on that very final lap, just like all three of us did in the championship. What a finish. I, I can't believe it because I obviously threw away the win and then we get it gifted back. And I'm not confident I could have gotten back to Seb without that error that he made. Unbelievable. We get our third win of the season. Uh, you know what? Sometimes the luck comes around and, and helps you out here after an embarrassing final lap mistake. That's going to do it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one in Japan. Have a great day, everybody.